Here I'm just going to do a quick video to show you can add a certain amount of color filters onto uh, a piece of video that you shot. So here I have some videos from my Sanio. Click play. You can see the video in there. So that's the video I want to add a bit of filter onto. So I just drag and drop it into the mixing screen. I can see now that the the video is in there. So I can scroll through and see the whole video very quickly by grabbing the play bar. So first of all what I'm going to do is just add a sepia onto that. So just right click and just select video effects and then select sepia. So if I just bring the play bar over there you can see the sepia going in and out. So what I want to do is actually reset this envelope so that it, it's got no nodes in it at all. So just right click on the envelope and select reset the envelope. So now it's a full sepia, 100% level going across the whole video clip. Now what I can do is just hold, put my cursor over the envelope and you'll see this icon change saying I can grab it so just holding down the left button just bring it down so there you go I've added on a little bit of a sepia effect on there. Now I'm just going to minimize that and now what I want to do is add in another color filter so I'm going to right click again and select video effects and I'm going to select a tinge. So there you can see the tinge is a red. Now I can actually right click, sorry, click on the effects properties button here and change it to green or blue. I'm going to I'm going to stick with red. Again, I'm going to drag it across the whole clip and I'm going to right click and select reset the envelope. Now what I'm going to do is bring this down again. So it's only got a slight red hue. Like so. So now you can see that there's a uh, two effects on there. There's a, a red and a a red tinge and a sepia. Now I can always just go into each effect and bring it up or bring it down. So I'm going to just leave that there. And what I might do as well is just click on the seven properties and just up the brightness just a little bit. Like so. So now I've put on a sepia and a red tinge and I've upped the video brightness a little bit. And you can see that it's giving it a kind of filter on top. So uh, now I'm just going to show, I'm going to render this off and then show you the difference between the two videos once they've been rendered. The original file and then the file with the two effects on it.